Today Xbox has announced that every game in its library may go to other third parties like Sony or Nintendo. And of course, since this has now happened, we have a lot of people who are upset, a lot of people who are confused, and most of us still don't understand what kind of games will be going to these third party streaming services. So today, we're going to look at some tweets made by some salty fanboys, some Sony fanboys, then we're going to look at an article supposedly made that talks about that maybe one of the Xbox exclusives being Gears of War may be introduced into Sony and Nintendo's systems in the near future. We will also discuss how Sony actually will feel about this and we also might talk about how Nintendo and other parties will be involved with this in the near future. So anyway, let us start with some tweets from some salty fanboys. First tweet we have is from someone called ArganJ99, which tweeted out saying, Seeing the rumours of reports of Xbox is going to PlayStation is very funny because it's the end of the console wars, and this shows that they don't want to be competitive, although they have lost their battle years ago when they sent their exclusives to the PC with a, cr a crying laughing emoji. Now then, let's quickly discuss this. I don't think you realise how stupid this sounds, the fact that they've lost a war. I don't think Xbox was ever in this war because it's, you know, a company that cares more about its profits than actually being some kind of goody goody company that cares about everything. Because at the end of the day, this company is only in for one thing money. Money, money, money. And the fact is, you think that they've lost some theoretical war because they are now sending things to other platforms is very laughable and very stupid and it shows your mentality that you have some kind of addiction to in a plastic box which no one actually cares about besides you and some other really 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 weird people online. Also this thing about how this is lost because it's now going to PC. PlayStation games have been going to PC? Does that mean then suddenly PlayStation have lost their war because they are actually sending their stuff onto PC and plan to be doing stuff like that in the foreseeable future? Hmm? Nah, nah, I don't think so, I don't think so. It's PlayStation. They're, they're the superior race and all that crap that you go. Anyway, let's move on to our next tweet. Our next tweet is from someone called MJG, who tweeted out saying that Game Pass kills the Xbox. Let's be real, the reason Nintendo and PlayStation are huge is games I know. Crazy, right? Games Gamers get excited for their exclusive games. Xbox may well go third party because they're sitting on great IPs for what? Then an emoji thinking. Okay, so let's let's break this one down as well. Game Pass killed Xbox. I'm sorry, but if I'm pretty sure the Game Pass sales were released, we would see a completely different story. And the sheer fact is that you're so absolutely blatantly proud enough to say that Xbox is dead because of a service that helps indie developers because it's supposedly been shown that actually any time a game that's been put on Game Pass actually gets profit put in for both the gamer and the game developer because portions of that profit from Game Pass sales go to developers to help develop more games in the future to be put on Game Pass. They wouldn't be putting all these fucking games on Game Pass if it was going to be set as a loss and kill their brand. How stupid do you think they are? Oh wait, PlayStation fanboy, you think Xbox is nothing but a bunch of monkeys I'm guessing that just sit around clapping and all that? And this thing about Nintendo and PlayStation are huge because of games, well, duh! So is Xbox, but you don't say that, you don't say that about Xbox. No, you're just talking about how exclusives are great for gamers and all that crap, even though they're one of the most anti-consumer things you could ever do, because they limit you on how you have to buy, and they limit you to playing on a plastic box that no one will care about. I mean, I didn't see everyone running out and buying PlayStations for Spider-Man, did you? Did you see people running out and buying fucking PlayStation 5s just to play God of War Ragnarok? No? Hmm, interesting. But however, I will give you one thing. You get one little pat on the head from me because you talked about Xbox's uh, weird obsession with IPs where they buy IPs and never use them. I'll give you that. I don't understand why Xbox does that. They do it all the time. They've done it with Rare and we haven't seen a good Banjo game in years. So it's like, why are they buying all these IPs if they're just going to make them do nothing? So yeah, you get a pat on the head for that one. I'll give you that one. But anyway. We've got one more little tweet to go through today, 
and that is from someone called Raven Reborn, who is pretty much on their knees, uh, theoretically, begging Xbox by saying, please, do not start making games multi-platform. Doing so will give no one a reason to buy an Xbox. As good as Game Pass is, it's not the sole reason people are buying Xboxes. The games are too, and no one will buy the next gen if you start making games multi-plat. So, multi-plat games are bad because they kill consoles. I, I don't see this as a problem, because uh, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter what we play our games on, as long as we get to play our games. So why should we care if they're on Xbox or on any other system? Because at the end of the day, like you said, it's the games that help sell Xbox, so why would we care if it was actually on an Xbox console? As long as it was made by your company, would you not be happy? Also this thing about how it will kill Xbox and all that crap is like, seriously? Would you really be happy with a game stuck on a system for years and years and never been able to evolve into more systems or to get sequels because more people could play those games? Are you that dead set on just keeping things for yourself? Is that what we're at now? As gamers and all this crap is that we have to basically make sure that everyone doesn't get to play the console I play because my exclusive? Honest to god. It just gets stupider and stupider as time goes on. And it got so goddamn fucking stupid that the head of Xbox, Phil Spencer himself, had to tweet out fucking pretty much saying that like, yeah, we've been listening to the people who have been tweeting and we hear you. Do you know what we're gonna do? We're just gonna make a fucking little like, event next week just so people can understand where we're coming from. So then people can actually see what we're meaning when we say live service multiplat. Anyway, let's move on to now talking about the article. Right, now we have an article from the VGC that says Microsoft is reportedly considering bringing Gears of War to PlayStation and it also has a small update that they share details about the vision of the Xbox future. So this is pretty much just one of those little titles that's crap planning on grabbing people's attention. But there is some key parts of this I want to quickly read before we get into my closing thoughts about this whole stupid drama. And that is this first little paragraph here that reads According to Giant Bomb Jeff who has elaborated on the recent claims and Microsoft is working on initiating a new, more Xbox exclusive games to other platforms. Over the weekend it was claimed that Bethesda Studios' Starfield and its upcoming Indiana Jones game could be coming to PlayStation 5 as well as also previously rumoured Hi-Fi Rush and Sea of Thieves. Now, if this is true, PlayStation console fanboys are going to lose their shit and it is going to be absolutely funny if this actually comes out. But I have a feeling that it's going to be more so something like a streaming service, something attributed to like PlayStation's PSN and all that. Something more like that rather than it being a full on game release with an actual PS5 logo slapped on a box rather than an Xbox logo. But anyway. We're going to read this last little uh, quote that they have made, and that was The other hand that I've heard definitely supports under construction. It doesn't mean it's going to happen, but it is in talks for Gears of War. As Gears of War is constantly being considered for this, Gavs also said that Microsoft was on one point planning on publicly explaining its new initiative at the end of February, but given mountain speculation, there's a chance the official announcement could be brought forward. The other thing I've collaborated on is a rumour that it will be something at the end of February when they're going to explain this change. This is something that definitely we're going to be talking about. So this just is going over the whole crap about the, you know, the, the uh, event they're now going to have to push forward and then they do that and then, oh, and then it just goes on to talk about, you know, how much Gears of War sold and how much it grows for Epic and all that and all that crap. But you know what? At the end of the day, this is pretty funny. Because if this was to be true, because you know what's going to happen if this is true, it means is that Sony might think about bringing some of their actual classical games to the Xbox and Nintendo, because then it means that Sony will also be making more money. And as you can see by obviously, if you go on Twitter right now, and you can see all the Sony fanboys are memeing and mocking Xbox because of this. But the problem they have to think of is Sony likes to copy Xbox a lot. So if Xbox does this and Sony decided that this could make them a lot more money, you could be seeing God of War on the Xbox. 
you could be seeing Marvel Spider-Man 1 and 2 and Miles Morales on the Xbox. I mean, when you played on PC you already can get the Xbox inputs, so who knows, it could happen. And then who will be having eggs on their face because while everyone else is sitting there moping and coping and seething and having mental breakdown, most normal gamers are just going and praising this because this is very consumer because it means that we're no longer limited to the Xbox. So anyway, that's my thoughts on this. Tell me, what do you think? Do you really think that they're actually going to be bringing actual classical games like the Halo series in the Xbox and maybe Starfield to PlayStation in the future? Or do you think that this was just speculation set up by fanboys to rile everyone up just for clicks and all that? Tell me your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I've been Green and I'm going back to playing my games. See ya!